Okay, the next class, uh, we've left Brazil. We started in Israel today. We left for Brazil, and now we're on our way to Ghana, also in South America, the only English-speaking country in South America. So we're going to have a session in a couple of seconds with Len, who's giving a few, given a few sessions on connecting online. I think he started in 2009, but I'm not sure. In any case, um, here is... Len, right smack in the center. All right, so there's Len, and you'll learn more about him as the session begins. Hello, everyone, and here we are again. In another class, another session for 2014. Now we're in Ghana. We started in Israel. We went on to Brazil with Stefan, Eduardo in Israel. Here is Eduardo and uh, here is Stefan. It was really wonderful. And now we're on our way to Ghana with Len. And Len was in the other class. I hope that uh, he makes it and everybody else makes it. It takes time to go from class to class. Get your coffees ready. Uh, if you're eating, you may eat. Unless you're recording like me, then you can't really eat. But uh, feel comfortable. You're in your homes. Or just let us know, where are you? Where are you? You can see where I am. I'm in my home. This is my, I would say, my life. This is where I live. No, I don't really live here. I live in a house with my husband. I've got three grown-up kids who don't live at home. We have a cat. And that's about it. Uh, but we uh, we do love to uh, go out, and I do go out. I even work, believe it or not, outside the house. I work about twenty hours teaching face to face in a high school and college. All right, so I see Len is here. Thank you, Len. All right, so this is the fifth year for connecting online. It's really exciting that we can go on, and what's even more exciting is the fact that. Five years have gone by. Time really does fly with internet years, but we're going and uh, so many of the presenters have been here, if not for a number of years, since the beginning. Okay, we've got presenters from all over the world, Australia, India, United States, Canada, France, Greece, Italy, uh, Russia, United States, did I miss any country, Ghana, Israel, uh, South Africa, did I miss any country? Mexico, yes, and I probably missed some more. But in any case, here we are with Len from Ghana. So uh, Len, you didn't come in with your co-presenter, which means that I have to find you and give you rights to speak. So uh, if you could raise your hand, that might make it easier. Otherwise, I'm never gonna find you. Luckily, there aren't thousands of people here. Um, I'm not Len, I'm Nelly. So Len has come in. On, so Len, are you, have you raised your hand? You'll have to raise your hand because I can't find you. Okay, so I'm waiting for a raised hand. We now have co-presenters on WizIQ, which means, hello Robin, good to see you. Use your, if we've got presenters here, use your co-presenter and then you come right in but make sure that you wear a headset and uh, and then I don't have to look for you it makes life so much easier imagine if you've got 500 and I've had them 500 uh, participants how in the world are you going to find them unless of course uh, they come in with a co-presenter and right now my mouse is just not working at it Maybe WizIQ can give you uh, WizIQ support. I believe, uh, are you here? Is WizIQ support? Please give Lynn a rights audio, video, and webcam because I can't. Webcam, video, where is my support? Uh huh. Well, um, my mouse just won't do it. Hello, Nancy. Good to see you. 
So please come in with your presenter. Okay, you're going off. Okay, so Len is going to come in with his presenter, co-presenter link, and that'll make life easy, easier for all of us. All right, so if you could just add where you are. So are you in the living room? Are you in your study? Are you on the beach? Are you in your garden? Are you in the park? Are you at a hotel? Are you in the bathroom? Where are you? Study. Okay, just add it. Little office at work. Okay, Len, if you could come in. Oh, there, I think I found you. All right, but it's not going to work. My mouse will not work. Sorry, it doesn't work. Help. I'm asking WizIQ to do it. I Let's see if WizIQ can do it for you, because I cannot. So let's see, we've got Raymond uh, Window at a student city in Belgrade. Wow, that sounds amazing. Study. Dining room. I think dining room is great because uh, it's very close to the kitchen. Uh, I, I don't know about you guys, but I like to eat while I'm online. Not when I talk, of course, but when I'm doing stuff or listening to somebody else's presentation. We've got a room in Thailand. Good to see you. I'm still waiting for WizIQ. No, the WizIQ is so mixed up. No, with this class. I had support here before, but uh, they disappeared. Hello, Duma from Romania. So let's see, how many countries do we have? Len, can you come back as a co-presenter? I sent you the link. I sent you the link. But not on Facebook. I sent it by email. You know, you know if somebody's under 30 or under 35 because they don't respond to emails, but they respond to you when you send the messages through Facebook. Have you noticed that? Who's noticed that? Give me a thumbs up if you notice that people under the age of, I think, 35 uh, do not respond to emails. They only respond to uh, messages on Facebook or Twitter. So you can tell I'm over 35. So Maria's from Ecuador. And um, I'm going to have to refresh this page because uh, uh, unless Len comes in. Yes, this is... Uh, that's the uh, hashtag, that's right, for connecting online for 2014. That's right, Duma. How many of you uh, use Twitter as a way to communicate with people? Oh, there, Len made it. Thank you, thank you. I didn't have to do anything. That's what I love about technology. You don't need to do anything. It's done for you. Thank you, Len. You must be under 35. Am I correct? <laughs> I'm funny. All right. There we go. So Len, as I said before, Len and I have been connected through connecting online, maybe through Wiki Educator. I have no idea when we met, but we're like so close. You know, we might as well be family. I'm sure that when I meet you face to face, the first thing we're going to do is just hug and not want to let go. So I'm looking forward to that, Len, and I hope it's going to happen soon. Len is also the co-author of uh, Connecting Online for 2012, okay? And you can also be part of this as a presenter and as a participant, if you're interested, for C014. All right, so then I'm going to let you speak. I'm going to sit back and enjoy. Hello. Oh, you're drinking now. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I don't hear you. But I see your lips moving, which means that you haven't got your audio settings. Support, what can you do? Uh, Len, could you go into the uh, audio devices and make sure that your, uh, yes, your headset is the right one for this class? 
Then there. I hear something in the background. Is that you? Man? Yes, we can hear you. Yeah, we can hear you. Wait a minute. I can hear you. How can I hear India? Is that India calling? Why was India in there? India, we hear the background of uh, your support. Could you? Um, thank you. Yeah. Could you turn off your audio there? It, Support, please. Pretty please. All right. Okay, Len, I think you can speak now. I hope. Can you hear me? Can yes, you hear yes, me? yes. Hello. All right. I'll... I can't hear myself. You can hear yeah. yourself too? No. Oh, that's good. That means so it's know. not echoing. Perfect. I'll, I'll mute my mic and let you speak. Uh, yeah, I went over to beg uh, for this uh, headset. I don't have a proper one. I need to buy one. Um, so anyway, thanks for having me. I I'm not sure how I should do this presentation, but let's see how it unfolds. Thanks to Nelly for all the opportunities. I've given you some troubles lately with the lateness. Um, yeah, but I've been happy to be around this um, CEO, whatever XXX. It seems to be going on and on and just last night I was reflecting on on the chapters and Nelly's work and wondering where it will end up if we'll have you know books going on and on you know it's very exciting actually and I was thinking whether I'll be doing another chapter for next year and you know yeah it's, it's, it's pretty good um, <laughs> uh, so I'm I'm from Guyana, and you know you say guys all the time, right? Guys and girls, right? So Guyana is is Guyana, like as in Anna, you know, so Guyana. Guyana is on the South American mainland, but um, our history basically end up with. Uh, being British Guyana at some point, and then in 1966 we became Guyana. So yeah, it's the it's the Brits. Any any Brit in here? Anybody from England? Yeah, that's that's why we're so we're more part of the um, we're more identified with um, the Caribbean or the British West Indies. So. Yeah, but we're, we're the only English-speaking South American country. Suriname is to the east, and then French Guyana is next to Suriname, just to give you an idea. And then we have uh, Brazil and Venezuela on the other side. And then Trinidad is right across the Atlantic. Yes, Stefan, Trinidad is right 50 minutes away, so, yeah. I'm happy to have a Caribbean man in here. <laughs> Anyway, um, so what about Facebook? What about Facebook? What, what do you like or what do you not like about Facebook? Somebody tell me in, in the chat room, uh, what, what, what are your thoughts on this, this thing we call Facebook? What do you use it for? What questions do you have about Facebook? What do you hate about Facebook? What do you like? I'd love to hear that before I get into my presentation. Networking, yeah. Spam, okay. Yeah. Communicating, finding friends. Heaven and health for teachers and parents. You can be connected all the time. Yep. Yeah. You know, the survey we're doing right now tell, tell, tells us exactly that what we need to know about Facebook. There is a whole lot of there's a whole lot of confusion sometimes about the value of this this thing called Facebook. And yeah, I mean, I, must, I myself have to, from time to time, you know, think about what I um, think about Facebook. But the truth is I love Facebook. When I say that to people here, they generally turn their eyes up. But thankfully, my, my students, they love it. So that's what this talk is all about. My students, they love Facebook. Uh, a couple of minutes ago, someone asked me, sir, are you coming to class today? And I said, yes, immediately. And then they liked 
they said, okay, and I like that, and then I said, yeah, please read the handout, and I'll see you in two hours. And yeah, it was all done in 20 seconds. They love that. So, um, yeah, I don't have to worry about emails and, and all that kind of stuff. And my students are always there. So I think I've said what I wanted to say in this presentation about Facebook. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to share. I'm going to share a little bit about. Um, I, I am 35. I turned 35 on Monday. Was it Monday? Can't remember. February 3rd. Yeah. I, I am 35 now. So maybe things are going to change from here on. Am I going to start eating Facebook soon? Or not like like it as much? I don't know. <laughs> um, but anyway, um, for about maybe six years now, six years now, I've been entirely hooked on Facebook. Um, I'm I'm not such a very social guy. Physically, I don't go out a lot. Um, I come from computing. I have both of my degrees are computing degrees. I have a postgrad through my education, so they say I can teach a little bit, but I don't know about that. But anyway, yeah. Um, but yeah, from a tech background, but I love teaching and I, I love to learn about teaching. And um, yeah, I, I like it. I mean, Facebook has been very good for, good to me for the last six years. So, um, can we can we get into the um, next slide, please? Oh. Thank you. All right, next one. We will find out how this how it goes. So I'm gonna just basically look at. I want to tell you a little bit about about my university here. I work at the University of Ghana. And I've been working here for 14 years now. Um, yeah, 14 years. Um, I want to tell you about some of the some of the issues we have. Yeah, all of my work life, I've not worked anywhere else. <laughs> I couldn't find a job after graduation, and they say, "Hey, come, come and do some some teaching assistantship and and stuff." And yeah, teaching was the last job I got to to do, so I don't regret it. I I love it every minute. So, yeah, uh, a wonderful world. Um, <laughs> I'm going to talk about some some bit of work, and then I'll kind of tell you what I've been doing in the last year or so with first year students. And then, yeah, we'll move on. So maybe next slide, please. Next slide. Um, by the way, if you have any questions, you can ask me. Um, yeah. All right. So, the University of Guyana um, is very much a face-to-face -face environment. Um, we do have more technology now than we had when I was a student. Um, I started working here in 2000 and there was hardly any internet around. Certainly, I hardly used the internet when I was a student. My first assignment uh, I always remember we went into the library and we were looking at, you know those big ones, thick old encyclopedias? That was around 96. You guys had the internet already anyway, so. But anyway, I was still using encyclopedias. I was still using encyclopedias in, 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 in the late 90s. Um, but yeah, life has moved now. We have Facebook and so on now. What happens here is that we basically are now getting into oh I'm teaching a, a class of social sciences students and I'm teaching information systems today but I teach programming and those things in general and and nowadays nowadays I'm um, trying to get my colleagues and other lecturers to use some more technology in their teaching um, we're a struggling institution we're in serious financial crisis at the moment you wouldn't believe it, but some some months we're not paid on time and all of that. You know, the, the usual thing that comes with education, right? Um, attrition is a big problem, um, and so on. 
Um, we don't have a formal policy yet on technology and education. Next slide, please. So that's a little bit of the background. Um, in terms of, well, we don't have technology. We don't have an LMS yet. In fact, I'm now being given the uh, responsibility to start up a Moodle environment. So from next week, I'm going to be clearing around with that a little bit. So yeah, yeah to Moodle. I don't know how that's going to work. Um, we, we now have something up, Nelly. Um, <laughs> and it will be up, up very, very soon. So yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, he had um, at one, in, he was at the distance education um, department and they had a Moodle. But they, they do basic things. Um, but they were not sort of like a core part of the university. So, um, so we have a lot of work ahead, but I'm I'm, I'm excited. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do like my Facebook stuff, but anyway, we have issues with 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 all. We have all the issues. Yes, thanks, Nelly. Definitely. I, I think some training and that kind of stuff might be in in train for you anyway. So, we'll let you know. Um, so we're free. Lecturers are free to do what they want with technology, and um, and that's why I am doing Facebook because that seems to be the one I like a lot. I do use a lot of other things. I use Google Docs. I use Twitter. I use a lot of other technology. Um, some for tech work. Some you know for teaching teachers and and stuff like that. So, so you know where you know where I am. Um, you know what my reality is, and um, yeah. So I'm free to use what I want. So I I started using uh, Facebook. Next slide, please. Thank you, Ali. Any questions? So this is sort of what is happening at the moment. We have people using blogs, a few teachers, lecturers are using blogs, some are using Yahoo groups to share files and stuff. There are a few Google sites around, lecturers are sharing their course materials. I use Spearwise as part of my research and teaching. Um, quite a f uh, I just want to show off a little bit. I mean, I started using Facebook here around 2008 and um, you know, some people were so much against it, and now I have like all my colleagues. They have Facebook groups, and that's what they use to support their students. And everybody's like one happy Facebook family here. You know, from five years ago, where people are like, you know, oh, privacy and all the yada yada yada. Um, you know, so I've kind of like converted a few people through my work. So yeah, that's nice, isn't it? Next slide, please. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, we know about the struggles. Next slide. Um, okay, so what I want to say about the next two slides is that, look, there are lots of, lots of work that has been done with Facebook. Lots of surveys, lots of empirical work. In fact, I have a folder of about 200 papers that I'm now reviewing, which someone from Romania. I met someone from Romania who, who wrote a Facebook paper that I wanted to read. And we're now doing a literature review. So maybe in a couple of months time I'll probably share with you a big paper on what has gone on with Facebook in education um, for the last five, six, seven years. Um, a lot of work has gone on. A lot of uh, lecturers, teachers, instructors have found yeah, or a chapter for a book, definitely, you keep that in mind. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm giving you a chapter for CO15, CO14, if you like, maybe two chapters. I have a lot of material. Um, yeah, the links are coming up. So next slide, please. Yeah, um, so a lot has gone on. Um, a lot of good things have been said about Facebook, and, you know, some issues as well as you would expect. It's not all great, I love it, um, but, I, but I appreciate and understand the challenges. Uh, I, I think we need to do that for all the technology that we have. 
So this is some more work. Let's go to the next slide, please. Um, you can you can check the links in your own um, in your own time. The slides are available. So next slide, please. Can I have the next slide, please? Hello, am I there? Yeah, next slide. Right, okay, good, yeah. Um, I was just checking to see if my internet fell off. Internet is crappy here, I'm on a 128K. How many of you are on a 128k or below what? Uh, still on a slow internet connection. <laughs> um, I was just checking to see if my internet went. No, I still have internet. Sorry. You understand my context, right? Don't you? Uh, you will see that showing up in, in the presentation. Are you hearing the dogs around? Are you hearing my puppies? We have a lot of stray puppies on, on campus. Yep. Lots of puppies, and we hate them. We don't like dogs so much here because they mess up the place. Ha. Right. Um, okay. So, um, we've written a little bit. Myself, um, Camerol, who is now moving on. He's Nelly Camerol is moving to Canada. So, um, yeah, we, we've lost another one. Um, yeah, dogs have a right to learn. Yeah. So I've been trying to share a little bit about what um, what we are learning about our experiences with Facebook, and I think that's important. I mean, looking back, looking back, I you know there is a frame of reference. Um, so some conference papers, some book chapters. Next slide, please. Um, yeah, um, all the papers are open open access, so I will share all of them. Um, some more articles. There is a chapter in CO12. Um, um, and then there is going to be a chapter, hopefully, in, uh, in the current book that Nelly is putting together. Um, and I had an article accepted by... Uh, the Turkish Journal of Honor. And this and so so okay right. You know what I'm what I'm trying to do a bit with, with Facebook. So so you can you can read those. I don't know if Nelly would allow me to share the chapter. I have a scanned copy, but I haven't put it up on my academia.edu profile yet because I think the book still needs to at least. Uh, return its expense. So, if Nelly gives permission, I can share a copy of the chapter as well. But that that's entirely up to Nelly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next slide, please. Or buy a copy of the book. I think it's. Um. I think it's not so expensive. All right. Um. So I think I've used up half an hour already. But yeah, I don't think I need more than half an hour anymore. So. So. There's a Kindle version as well. Just, just have a look. Maybe it will encourage you to um, to write a chapter for the next book. Um, I think for me, the, the, the real value in the book, or the biggest value, is us coming together, coming together and putting our thoughts and sharing our experiences. And I think that that's wonderful. Um, and, and thanks to Nelly for taking the time to organize all this hard work. Um, yeah, it's amazing. I think we can we can write a book about the experience itself. Hopefully, Nelly, will do that. you you write a book about a CO CO and your Moodle mood and and all those things. I, I think it's very very in, it's an, it's, an, it's something that is that is important to share. Um, yeah, we we really need to do that. I I, I mean. It's amazing, isn't it? Um, yeah. So, so yeah, we have another project, Nelly. So, um, so over the last five years or so, I've been mainly working with 
uh, not first year student. You know, first year student, they just come into university. Yeah, Stefan, please. I'm happy. So I've been working with a lot of students in the last two years, but especially I'm focusing now on first years because most of our students are, are teenagers going up to their 18, 19, 20. We have, we have a few older folks. We have, we have a different generation, sort of. And it's amazing how much that has changed in the last, that has changed in the last 40 years. I mean, when I, when I started working here, when I started working here, I said going, going up to teenagers and going up to their 20s. <laughs> Age is just a number. They, they still have teenage characteristics. Yeah, I'm going to describe that a little bit just now, Robin. Late teens, yeah. I was saying, though, that when I started working, um, the demographics was very different. And in the last 10 years, a lot has changed. A lot has changed. So one of the things that motivate me, basically, is that, look, 90% of my, of my students, they, they, are in, they are online. They're on Facebook, and they're on YouTube, and they're, they're everywhere online. And, and for me, that's, that's a potential. That's, that's a potential I want to tap into. Um, so these last two years, I've been working closely with first year. And the other thing is that we don't have a great first year support program here, so we need to do a lot of what we can do to connect with students and 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 help them through this first year period. So for me there are other motivations for, for wanting to be connected to, to my students. Um, so so what I'm gonna talk about in the next ten minutes or so um, some experiences from from the last two years. So I've been working with three groups. The CSI groups are computer science majors. The MNG group, they are social science students who are doing information technology, information systems. Um, so we, ha I have some diverse groups. And what I've been doing is Yeah, that's small. We have a, we have classes of fifteen hundred here that um, all attend one session. Um, they're out on the corridor. They're on roofs. They're they're everywhere. Um, and and I'm not. I have a class of four hundred this semester to deal with. I'm going to be using some technology to work with them. So yeah, I'll we'll bring them to our roof definitely. <laughs> How do we provide hardware? So, um, um, we do not provide anything. <laughs> the, we do have some labs here and there with some desktops, but most of our students, yeah, actually we have a class of 1,400. First year English is about 1,400. I teach 400 in the same auditorium. You understand why I want to meet them elsewhere, right? Yeah, the tuition is very low. They pay like five hundred dollars per year, five hundred US per year. Um, don't make me feel bad about my reality, but but it's uh, an opportunity for folk like myself to help make a difference. How much do I work for? Um, <laughs> I work for enough to pay my rent and to put food on my little son's table. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, it's fun. Look, education is real fun. My my wealth is in the um, in the education of those who I work with. And that that's really true. Or maybe I'm trying to convince myself that. Um, but it's worth it. I love it. I, I wouldn't give it up for anything else. No, my parents are farmers actually. Um, I came. I'm the first from my. I'm the first from my family to went to university for all the generations. Um, my great grandparents came as immigrants from India, <laughs> um, and I, up to the age of 11, I was a cowboy on weekends. 
I used to, after school, on Saturdays and Sundays, I had to go behind cows. And then, yeah, cowboy, ride horses, look after the cows. And then we plant on watermelon, coconut, a bit of rice. You know, that's my background. My, my parents are very, from very, very humble beginnings. So, um, yeah, but when, when I started high school, my dad said no more cows, so he sold all the cows out. And, um. I I went to high school and then university. So um yeah. Holy cow, yeah. <laughs> no, it's great. I mean I'm happy that I, I have this opportunity to, to live in a, in an age where, you know. My great grandparents, yeah, Bihar. The poorest parts, huh? Bihar, Uttar Pradesh, the backwaters. They came as immigrants. They were very poor, and of course, they wanted a better life. So they came to work on the sugar plantations here. All right. It feels like I'm. <laughs> this feels like a different. Um, yeah. I need, I need to. Yeah. Yeah. We have a similar culture to um, Trinidad. In fact, very similar. The. Yeah. I should get back to my presentation. Okay. So. Um, <laughs> I, I do this thing, I do this Facebook thing with my groups, the large classes, um, and yeah, that's right. I, I feel like <laughs> I want to say this to my students. They're surprised because they all think you know I came from very middle class, educated, you know, sons and son of a teacher and a headmaster and a professor and and all that kind of stuff. Facebook distracts me sometimes, um, and some of my students did say that um, there, there are some issues. Um, I teach computer science at the undergrad level. I teach information systems, and I, I want to teach educational technology or learning technology, and I'm, I'm trying to find a space to do that, um, but I, I don't think I'm qualified yet. Um, so. We'll see how that turns out. Um, maybe, maybe I'll maybe. All right. So, Robin, Robin is getting impatient, and I agree. Let, let, let's let's talk a little bit about what happens. So, all of, all of my classes they, they are supported basically by Facebook groups primarily. So we create Facebook groups. Um, close ones and I invite my students to join and that's the basis for for everything else so next slide please <laughs> okay yeah Robin hang in there bro next slide please um I just want to say something next week next Next Friday, I'm doing another presentation in Moodle Loop Tree about some aspects of Facebook. So, from a from a more technical perspective, um, so please come again next week, and I'll talk more about some of the limitations from the technical side um, uh, and and some other things. So, hopefully, that presentation will complement this one. Um, so, what I what I what I normally do is set up the groups and um, a couple of years ago we used to do more formal things I used to ask students to start discussions and stuff and I find that it doesn't work so well when the lecturer tries to computer science CSI is computer science and MNG is management so I teach computer science students and I teach management and social sciences students so um, I yeah, I was saying that um, in my early days with Facebook, I used to want students to do more, and then I, I kind of realized that forcing students doesn't work. You cannot force students to do stuff. You you have to make them. Yeah. Um, you have to you have to encourage. You have to encourage and engage and and enable enable 
we know that, right? So, in my early days, I used to say, hey, please post some information, please start some discussion, please make some comments, and, and that doesn't work. The students, I don't know, they rebel or they feel like, you know, Facebook is not for that, and they, they just don't want to do it. So nowadays, it's a, it's a bit, it's, it's more about the students. So next slide, please. I'm going to tell Robin what, what my experience is. Um, yeah, okay. Right, and then there is an issue about students participating and stuff. So what I do, um, yeah, that's right. And we do that too. We don't respond to everything that shows up on our Facebook, do we? We respond to those that engage us or those that interest us. And... Um, or we will come back later on to something that might interest us at a later point. Um, so there's a whole lot um, of differences. Um, so what I find is like, of all that happens in our groups, one-tenth of it is probably the sort of stuff you would maybe hope for, like people actively asking questions and posting comments and sharing videos and all of that. I mean, I'm still happy that one of the ten of the students will do that. Because, you know, really, we, we can't tell what happens in the, really, because we don't know everything that students will do. I mean, if a student is lurking, or they clicked on a link and they went and they, they read something interesting and they didn't post a comment, that doesn't mean that they aren't picking up anything. It doesn't mean that they're not Get, you know, developing ideas from things. So it's hard to actually measure what's happening. For me, I think it's important that there is a constant conversation, that I'm there um, all the time, um, and that they can ask me questions either in private messaging or in, in you know, on the board um, and, and stuff like that. So. What I find though is that they all tend to view what I post. So if I put up something, they would all like it or something, or they would at least open the stuff. What they do with the things I share, I don't really know. Um, um, and frankly, I, I don't really think I need to know everything. I think that's important for me. Um, yeah, I share important um, reading materials, sometimes some short, fun videos that are related to what they do. Um, one of the things I do basically is I try to try to encourage them not to post ads and rubbish, <laughs> um, so that we keep keep the environment fairly okay. You know. Um, next slide, please. There, there are some rules, and I think there is mutual respect. Um, and that's important, I think. So what I find, um, so maybe you can ask me some questions for the next two or three minutes and then I'll, I'll do the other things. Internet is very bad, as you, would, you can tell, and that's one of the shortcomings, that's one of the issues I have. A number of my students are not able to access, uh, on, access the internet as much as they would like, and they said that um, to me. Um, Yeah, um, yeah, I'm at work, so I have better internet, but at home most people have, uh, they share a 128K, uh, or they just don't have internet. I mean, Ghana is still a very poor country. Um, we still have a lot of struggling um, students, you know. The, the reality is, is different, but things are improving, things are improving. Um, and I find more of my older students are coming on Facebook now. Um, in my previous studies, the older, the older students used to say, Facebook is not for me, and you know, that's for young people, and, and now I'm seeing a different attitude. Um, I think attitudes can change. Now they can't have enough. I have all the folks asking me questions. Sir, 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 can you please share some more reading material with us? Uh, are you coming to class? You know, there, 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 I think there is a change in the attitude. 
um, and, and that's important. So what, how do you work around this lack of internet connection? Um, Stefan, there is no work around at the moment. Um, I try to encourage them to go to their friends um, and at least to spend one hour every week. If they have to pay at the cafe, one hour of week of the week is fine, and I try to encourage them. Um, they coming, Robin. <laughs> so all of the materials are shared on my group. Um, all of my assignments are on the group. All of the clarifications on assignments are discussed in the group openly. Um, if they do not understand anything, they ask me openly or in private. And and sometimes I, if I leave a lecture and I'm not convinced that something worked well, I would start a discussion on it in the class, um, just to clarify and just to let them know that I, I care about them and that, you know, I recognize that maybe things didn't go well in class and we can discuss it further and then they might ask me to, sh to share some more reading with them that they can use in their own time. What we find though is that the speed, the speed of communication is awesome. Um, within five minutes of posting anything, if I say for example I'm not coming to class today, if I'm not coming to class today, in five minutes the message is, is out there. They all respond 90% and then they would, those without the internet would get feedback from their friends who would text them immediately and say, you know, sir is not coming um, and that sort of stuff. So one of the greatest things, immediacy, um, and I'm always there because I'm always on Facebook. So, I mean, I, I work like 18 hours or at least I'm up every day 18 hours from 6 to about 12 every night. So. Um, I, I like that. I want to be connected with my learners. Um, and I want them to know that I'm always there. And Facebook is great for that. Excellent. Um, what they've said is that clarifications on issues is one of the good things they find about our groups. They're able to ask, ask me stuff. They're able to ask their colleagues stuff. Um, and like I said, I, Yes, it, it means extra work, but I don't see it as work. Like I said, um, <laughs> I I am I am learning. Um, I yeah, no, it doesn't feel like work, but yeah, I I do it on my own, and I wouldn't ask anybody to spend hours and hours with their students if they don't want to, but I, but I do it. It it comes naturally. Um, yeah, so. Feedback is another great thing. Um, our students, they love feedback. Um, they, may, they, they might have the most trivial of answers or questions to things and they, and they, they would ask. And um, I encourage them to, I encourage them to, to, to tell me what they think about the lecture um, after a test. After a test, we discuss issues about the test. Um, you know whether we cover the materials, whether it was too hard, what they found difficult. You know that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, so it's good for that. Because we don't have a learning management system, we use Facebook. I share all my files on Facebook, and I can hook up Facebook to my Dropbox. So I don't have to upload the files on Facebook. I can Dropbox them and, and link them to Facebook. So that's fine. There are options to do that. Um, and you know, it, it's pretty useful. And then, yeah. No, it's it's not used in class. Um, we're face to face. Um, so this is extra work. This is how I support my students. Um, but I, but I, but I see it as class um, from the point of view that you know I'm always educating. So um, yeah, it's 24/7. So 
you can go to the next slide, please. And you can ask me questions, too. As I see them, I will answer. And I can answer more after the presentation as well. Um, um, next slide, please. Does that mean that your Facebook page is private? Okay, so I do not. I told, I tell my students that they don't have to be my friend to be on my Facebook, or I don't have to be their friend for us to work on Facebook. So we use private groups, and that's fine. I've been able to negotiate that very well. Um, the some students try to add me to their friends list, and I just tell them gently and kindly. And openly that, sorry, we can still communicate in the group. You don't have to be my friend. I manage my Facebook personal space very well. Um, I don't let students overrun it. So I, I personally do not have any problem with um, separating my work with my students and my personal Facebook. Um, yeah, sure, five minutes. When we finish. Um, so there, there are lots of experiences. I, I will tell some more of it in the chapters that I will write and in a discussion forum. Um, we do some issues. All is not well. All is not well. Um, I would be the last person to admit that everything is perfect. Technically, we have internet issues. Distraction is an issue on Facebook. Look, let's not. Let's not. It's still a social space for the students. Um, the, even in the context of, of the social space, I'm able to work with them. I'm able to provide some support, and I'm happy for that. I don't want them to convert their social space to you know, a university classroom. I think that would be counterproductive. Um, but we're able to do good stuff, even, even in our groups. Um, Yes, they are distracted, um, and I don't know the real effect of the distraction, but it's something we have to deal with. But but I think once once they're online, they'll be distracted anyway. Um, yeah. Uh, so distraction is an issue. Um, I think we have to continue working with our students to manage that. We have to ourselves manage distraction. We live in an age of abundance, and we have to we have to manage abundance. So it's it's a work in progress. A lot of my students want to meet real time with me online. They want to have chat sessions. They want uh, synchronous engagement. I don't know how that's gonna work, but yeah, that's encouraging. Um, yeah, so next slide, please. I think I'm finishing. Oh. Sorry, I'm not able to um, love you as much as I'd like to, but yeah. Um, OK, I think I've been discussing along the way, so you can read that and ask questions later. Maybe next slide. No, uh, text chat. They were asking for text chat. Um, maybe video, but I, uh, I don't know. But we don't have any of that right now. Um, and remember, we're, all of our classes are face-to-face, -face, so whatever we do, whatever we do is extra work, is additional stuff, it's support. It's definitely support, um, so I'm not teaching on Facebook per se. I am providing support for my students, um, and, and they're, they're liking it. Um, students love to communicate. Um, I think we, we need to keep that in mind. Um, opportunities to communicate with our students, we have to we, we have to embrace that. I think um, they expect you to share stuff, and maybe this is coming from their their old experiences. So they like when I share materials. They like when I share videos. They like when I make comments. They love it even though they don't do it as much themselves. But I think that's fine. Um, you know, we have to take it for what it is. 
like I said, I don't know what happens between the students and their friends. Um, but yeah. So they also yeah they do that they they share stuff. Um, there's a lot going on, more than I think we know, and I think we need to continue to examine this. I think there are certainly some good points. Um, I we have to learn. Um, we have to figure out what works and in what context. Um, we have some peculiar situations here. Um, but I've been able in the last five years to do more than you know I would have otherwise done without Facebook. And next week I will talk a bit about the ease with which things can be done, and I think that's an important point. So, um, yeah, figuring out what works is is great. I like that. I mean, I used to think that posting all the stuff will work. Um, but yeah, don't don't kill them with content. You know, just just figure out what works. So, all right, I'll be happy to continue the conversation. I think my time is up. Um, I enjoy the the discussions outside of the Facebook bits. So thanks for asking and sharing. And it's great. I feel like I feel like I had a great session. Thanks. Thanks for. You did. You had an awesome session. I love the humanness of uh, connecting this way. You know, it bringing out the person in these live sessions is so much more meaningful than standing in front of you know a bunch of strangers and and lecturing at them. You know, having a discussion is is what it's all about. It's about connecting and. Uh, and, and touching one another. And that's what you've done, Len. You've touched us. And if we've touched you, I mean, that's, that's all the better. But uh, it, it was wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. I love uh, when you give these sessions. You have no idea how touching they are. So, uh, and Len's writing is also amazing. So he's an all-rounded, uh, amazing person. And we would never meet. I mean, I would never meet you if it hadn't been for, uh, you know, technology and the internet so um how else would we meet let's get ready for the next class you'll be able to continue uh communicating and uh, go on with the discussions in the uh, course feed len i hope you'll go there too and uh, help out along with everyone and you're invited to join the next one len the next session is going to take us to the united states and we're going to talk about globalization and educating the world, which is exactly what you were preparing us for. So thank you. You didn't realize that, did you? So let's look at the next one. Thank you.